Yo! I'm joking, I never say that. So American. No, I want to talk about um, children's playgrounds, especially school playgrounds, especially when there's no teacher on duty. I want to talk about bullying, and I want to talk about the mentality of the children that are in the playground. If a child is getting bullied in the playground, normally other children don't interfere with the bully because they don't want to get bullied themselves. I think that's quite clear. Please, at this point of the video, if anybody disagrees with that, please disagree and comment below. Thank you. Uh, and I really don't mind how you disagree with it. I'm just interested. Um, yeah, I think that the situation with me is that, you know, I am susceptible to being um, threatened much more easier because I feel threatened more easier. It doesn't matter what the person says when I go out in the street there and people look at me funny. I feel threatened. When I'm on testosterone, as in balanced, yeah, um, I don't react too much to the to the looks of other people. You know, I'm able to handle it much better. Um, because again, somebody mentioned like you know, because Kleinfelter syndrome don't look handicapped. You know, uh, we don't look like we're disabled. You know, we don't look like we're um, we've got difficulties. We look like quite normal enough looking yeah males we do look like males in general there are of course millions of XXYs that don't look like males M millions of XXYs that look like hermaphrodites but um, as in sorry not hermaphrodites androgynous um, I had somebody asking me the other day whether or not I was hermaphrodite and I don't know I don't think people really reala realize the differences between all these categories um, equally I thought that hermaphrodite was with penis and vagina genitals um, and so hermaphrodites have told me on the internet that's not it even though I still would question whether or not hermaphrodites with penis and vagina actually exist in the world I'm sure they do but who the fuck in the world is actually going to state to the world oh by the way look at underneath my um, look down below in my genital area look at all my genitals that I've got I mean generally in this world who wants to sort of stand out in, in the playground and go hey hey look at me look at me I'm different nobody <laughs> except wannabe cool people and wannabe famous people Um, I don't want to be cool and I don't ever want to be in a group that are just doing things to be cool Um, and I certainly don't want to be famous um, so in a way it's actually great that I've never been featured, ever. And that I've never had all of these things, these honours for YouTube, like uh, number three most subscribed this week. I've never had any of that for Peace and Party. I've had it for my other channels. So uh, so I think YouTube, I, I think and I thank YouTube, but I think YouTube, uh, you know, uh, obviously probably went, no, this guy will be annihilated if he's put up in the, in the, in the featured page, you know. Um, at the time, uh, now if you put me on the featured page, you would do nothing but good for me, you know, uh, because I think I've pretty much got to the to the roots of my points, and I'm pretty clear now what my points are. It's taken a while, and oh yeah, as many people have noticed and will continue to notice that my thoughts and opinions will change through time because I'm not fixed. On a reality, because I do know that realities change and feelings change, um, and I don't want to blame Christians again, but they do kind of come into my mind when I'm on this subject, and I think, well, you know, you're fixated on your truth of Christianity and Jesus coming back from the dead, even though he's dead, yeah. Uh -huh. Like, and I would love people to practice more kind of. Jesus ideals instead of just preaching Jesus things and then actually not practicing what they're preaching. Um, but anyway, we're not going to get into Christians here. We're going to get into uh, children's playground sort of stuff and snitches and rats in school, basically. People who told the teachers on other people, uh, other kids. They told the teachers that this kid is, is blah, blah, blah. You know what normally happened to the snitch, to the rat? Yeah, normally this snitch or rat would be in deep shit then for the rest of their lives, in school of course. And then they'd leave school and they'd realise, oh my god, school isn't the end all, is all end all of life. And they, they, they found themselves then when they left school. And then, and then, this is half and half my own autobiography here by the way. And, and then when they left school, they realised, yeah, this, I can make something of me and my life. I am not what they say I am. 
you know. Um, so yeah, I I completely understand people basically uh, staying away from my channel, and not only did the wise people on YouTube stay away from my channel the last six months and unfortunately lose out on some of the juicy good videos that I did because I did some really good videos this six months but uh, um, of course I did millions of videos this six months as well so there's a lot of crap videos too but um, yeah at one point I will definitely um, give a present to all the people that supported me over the last two years because you're so important uh, online for me not offline because we'll probably never meet but um, you know online the support that I've gotten and the comments even just uh, from most people I mean 98-99% of the people that commented on my videos were all very good comments uh, you know and I'm including the ones that are criticizing me but they criticize me in a very good way you know um, uh, you know so anyway so I'm gonna give you a present at some point in the future Mark my words and please quote me on this and ask me for this present because I will give it to you if you remind me. And the present would be um, a, like a DVD of the best of Peace and Party because you deserve it. You deserve just to have the best and the essence of what I was always trying to say throughout the two years, um, two years and three months actually or something of, of being on YouTube and also being off testosterone. So you've got to realise, please, if you're still listening people out there, that all of you people watching my videos thinking that you know who I am you have watched me slide from here to here I'm not totally down here yet I'm not down there yet where are we no, I'm not down there yet I'm just here okay but I was kinda up here and that's a fact for me Um. so things are getting a little bit better the thoughts I want to put out there to myself and to the world at the same time simultaneously I don't mind you thinking along with me what I think about myself in fact it helps and it's what we should do in the school playgrounds to help other children you know kind of get out of trouble basically and also help the bully this is the one thing we always forget in the children's playground scenario we always demonize the bully we say the bully is the biggest fuckhead in the world I mean the bully is also got problems you know we always put the bully into detention and give it more crap and tell the bully yeah you see you are an idiot you are a reject you know blah blah and um, but in fact the the bully is the one who really needs the help you know not the bullied but the bullied definitely need support yes and they need community yes and it, I find it amazing in this internet world how fearful most people are of, um, you know, New World Order, CIA, kind of, I mean, the Facebook call thing of, oh, jeez, you're putting all your information up there. God almighty, they'll get you there. Listen, they're going to get us all in the end if we don't flip the pancake and turn the system around on its ass, you know? I mean... Uh, people who are naive to think that the internet is just there for the betterness of the world at this particular moment in time must be absolutely off the rocker nuts. You know, the internet is here to gather information and um, so that when and if, or when or if, because I put it on the if, not on the when, I, I think if these people of power of the now, the inv invisible people, the people who are pulling the strings subtly but surely, if they do get into a position where they can say, right, yeah, we can press the red button and we'll annihilate all these people and we'll save these fucking Christian fundamentalists, yeah, because that's probably going to end up being the way. Um, even though funny that Christian fundamentalists are supposed to be loving and caring, and we won't get into them because they're not worth the time because they're, they're like Mormons, brainwashed. Um, yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, the internet, like, if... It, if you think that, you know, it's totally fine to be putting up your stuff here in this particular reality of the world now, this time, this era, then you're absolutely nuts. I mean, you know, I'm very well aware that uh, putting myself out here with all sorts of information for myself, that um, it, it's, it, it's, it's, I'm susceptible to getting, like, so many threats, it's unbelievable, you know? Um, but I, the way I look at it is, I got so many threats in my early childhood that, I, and the fact that I'm still alive, woo! Can I celebrate? That I made it to over 30 years old. I thought I was going to be dead. 
So that's fucking like I'm so proud to have made it here. I don't give a fuck what people think of me all, offline or online. I don't, at, this, at, at this particular mo moment in time, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. Do you know why? Because I'm actually happy the way that I've progressed. I'm happy that I'm aware of myself. And I'm happy that I'm able to control myself in a lot of situations much more than I did before. I'm happy that I'm that I'm able to speak my mind. I'm happy that I speak. I didn't speak at all. You would have preferred me then <laughs> when I was younger. Um, I, I'm happy that I've sorted out many of my emotions. I'm happy that I've understood my past much more from being off testosterone now. I'm happy that I can actually go back on a testosterone and basically feel much more psychologically better. So actually, in the end of the day, I'm happy, but my mind is negative because I'm hormonally imbalanced. And I'm sticking with my guns there. That's what I think and I believe. Ciao.